greetings, fellow YouTubers. Um, I hope this video finds you well and in good health. Uh, today's video is a quick one, and I hope that uh, it finds you well and in good health. Uh, I was hoping to discuss uh, my thoughts and uh, generate a discussion, I guess, with you, the, the greater community, Warhammer community, on uh, where we're taking it from here. As we're all well aware, uh, the balanced data slate from June has dropped and has shaken up the meta a lot. Uh, as a Salamander's successor chapter, uh, I am not a fan, as I'm sure you're not either. I'm not uh, enjoying the increase to our Land Raider Redeemer. Uh, 25 points is wild, just absolutely wild. Uh, to increase it by that much. So now we're on 285 points for one Land Raider Redeemer. Like we're going to fit maybe one now on the list. And, and that's it. Uh, I do... I do find there's some weird inconsistencies as well in our codex still. I thought that they were going to address the Invictor Fist uh, versus the Dreadnought Fists. Uh, difference or differential however you want to communicate it uh, I find it absolutely bizarre that uh, we have Invictor Tactical War Suits that have strength 14 and our Dreadnoughts are strength 12 with their fists um, I it's shown that on the app at least uh, I haven't checked my book but looking on our Warhammer app it, it's just confusing to me so uh, I guess if we want better close combat from Dreadnought-esque bodies it's got to be the Invictor Tactical War Suit um, I think there is some value with that now uh, being that there is Scouts and uh, you know with the change to Scouts that's alright uh, but again like we're, we're, we're forced to look for different options now with uh, probably wanting to stick to our theme of fire and melta um, and uh, our redeemer while is super good with that damage to AP2 and being plus one to strength within 12 inches uh, making it strength uh, 7 AP2 uh, damage 2 is really spicy but still for the for the whole chassis being 285 now that's too much too much to be running more than one i think in my opinion i've been uh, messing around with uh, some inceptors as well uh, seeing if the inceptors will pull their weight uh, but i find for 130 points for three bodies um, there, yeah. At least the bolter versions aren't strong enough. Uh, I that's all I have. I don't have the plasma. I probably should get my hands on some plasma, and run them that way. Uh, but you know, I'm I'm limited to my collection, as I'm sure we all are. Uh, furthermore, I think uh, the change to the storm raven is absolutely atrocious. Bye bye, Storm Raven. Uh, it was nice knowing you. I I think now that it, it's just too overcosted uh, to bring it, and uh, I am wondering because of the changes to indirect fire, always missing on a one, two, or three. I think that might have brought our whirlwinds back onto the table if we're looking for that sort of style of play. Uh, simply because of our Oath of Moment. We can just throw the Oath of Moment uh, towards the uh, Whirlwind's targets and uh, be a lot more accurate than, than everyone else would be with their indirect fire. Uh, so I think that's, that's worthy to note. Uh, furthermore, uh, I do think that I am very biased towards the Whirlwind. I'm very biased towards the Whirlwind. I love the Whirlwind. It was one of my first tanks I ever picked up. I love the notion of indirect fire, just being able to sit at a line of sight and still being able to shoot you. I know I'm one of those people, and 
that you might not uh, enjoy playing too much. But for right now, I will I will put your mind at ease by saying that the whirlwinds are not in my list. Um, I will do my darndest to put a copy of my list on the video description for here, uh, so that way you can have an idea as to what I've run. Um, I, I'm still running a Land Raider Redeemer, and I'm trying to take advantage of our uh, battle line uh, shenanigans now. Uh, with the Pariah Nexus really putting an emphasis on battle line units, I think it is with everyone's best interest to try and have two or three battle line units in there. Uh, I admittedly am desperate to try and get my tactical Space Marines uh, viable again, and I'm convinced right now that the only way to run them is with a multi malta plasma gun thunder hammer uh, for you know salamander's theme uh, as well as putting them in with a lieutenant a lieutenant and i personally would run the uh, new volkai pistol the storm shield and the mastercrafted power weapon or power sword um, because the tactical marines are not as strong in close combat as their primaris counterparts uh, with one less attack but they have more flexibility in their war gear options so i think that's where their strength is as well as the lieutenant leading them would be giving them lethal hits uh, for their bolters and close combat weapons and uh, and as well as the ability to fall back shoot and charge i think that will go a long, long way for those tactical marines. Uh, that's my thoughts, at least. Uh, I might be doing, I might be trying to build another tactical squad with uh, maybe plasma cannon instead, and then a flamethrower just for my own, my own desires. I, I, I like the aesthetic of that, and. I, I just I have a lot of fun running the uh, Horus Heresy tactical squads. I think they're they're revision, they're redo, uh, they're reprinting. The updated models look fantastic, and uh, I I'm ever so slightly sour still about the Primaris um, injection into our into our lore and whatnot. I think uh, they could have just and come up with new technology without redoing the space marine. What are we for? I think that is, is well enough said. I'll leave it there. Um, but yeah, all over the place, clearly. Not much of a script, just free flow, no edits or minimal editing. Because I want my, uh, my video here uh, to be playing on the background of uh, my Halo Wars gameplay, so you can enjoy that too. Um, yeah, so I Land Raider Redeemer is overcosted now. We have our uh, Storm Raven that is overcosted now, and uh, these, to me at least, were primary uh, modes of transportation for the uh, Gravis that I wanted up the field, whether it be the Aggressors or the Eradicators. I'm thinking now that uh, I won't be putting the Eradicators in anything. Uh, just because of our Firestorm Detachment, uh, we have Assault on all of our weapons. So as long as I'm able to uh, pick and choose uh, the engagements wisely, and my positioning is more of a, a central positioning, I think, feel, and believe that I'll be able to run or advance the Eradicators, well, at least at turn 3 and 4, into the right location, shooting the heavy monster or a vehicle that just needs to go. Um, that might be a little late at that, that point for turn three, but I've, I've had it against a Necron game now within my crusade uh, with the boys uh, that the running towards the middle strategy with my Eradicators, against Necrons at least, and now uh, Death Guard, has proven uh, very favorable. The 
even even if I'm shooting the eradicators at just Death Guard Space Marines uh, without all their rerolls with their ability, it's still very strong, still very powerful, which uh, we like as Salamander's successors or Salamander's players. And I think they always at, will have a, a spot in the list. Uh, I think they're optimally priced right now. They're not too too. They're not too durable, let's put it that way, for their stat line profile for the three wounds each at toughness six. Um, I think the aggressor's in a good spot too, despite the points increase we had a while back, bringing them up to 240 uh, for the group of six. I think it should stay there. Don't move them. They're still pulling their weight, uh, for me at least, and they're still very much doing a lot of damage. And I think they're priced quite fairly at 240. Um, if you disagree with me on anything I'm saying, please, you know, comment in the section below. Uh, comment section below. Let me know your thoughts and uh, you know feelings and you know engage. I, I, I want to see different perspectives. I want to try and uh, optimize my list as best I can while still maintaining the salamanders feel. I love my flamethrowers. I love my my melt guns, so or melt rifles in the Eradicator's case, and I think we need more. Uh, I'm still debating whether or not I should put my uh, Devastators in a Razorback and bring them back to the field because the Razorback allowing the multi melters from the Devastators to have reroll wounds. That's that's an option. Uh, I don't know how. Uh, efficient that is yet I think I will try to bring that into my crusade at one point if my revised list as it stands now doesn't work um, and I think our redemptor dreadnought is good 210 but um, uh, not in the list I have chosen the ballistic dreadnought instead to cut down on a few points and have an earlier engagement, if that makes sense. Uh, so that way the LAS cannons and missile launchers can do damage, turn one, assuming they see someone. And uh, I think that will be of, you know, of continued added value. Especially with the toughness 10, 12 wounds and 2 up armor save. I think that's good. Uh, otherwise, uh, on a side note, I have been interested in Battlefleet Gothic a little bit, uh, but only in so far as having a, a spaceship to sort of, or, or let's say a battleship to represent the uh, flagship of the Iron Sparks, my chapter. Uh, I got this from, oh my gosh, uh, Fusion Shipyards? No. Um, Battlefleet Galaxy, if I'm not mistaken. And it is Battlefleet Galaxy, exactly. On uh, Instagram, they have wonderful models. Their, their plastic that they print out is very high quality, so if you're interested, I highly recommend uh, you go on their way. Again, I'll try and link them into uh, the video description below. Uh, otherwise, yeah, had a, had a fun time painting this bad boy. And uh, I don't plan on getting to Battlefleet Gothic, but I really enjoy the whole uh, game game system. I enjoy the whole you know, narrative of it. I enjoy the aesthetic of it, and I enjoy the concept really. Uh, so war, I enjoy war games, uh, and I enjoy Warhammer 40,000's universe the most. So yeah, I just wanted to throw that in there real quick. And we're going to jump back to the competitive scene, because uh, as I think I mentioned uh, earlier, why in the actual is the Victor Tactical War Suits Fist, Strength 14, whereas the Redemptor and the other Dreadnoughts have Strength 12 on their fist. Uh, I just checked it on the, uh, the app there, and not five minutes ago and was really 
perplexed as to why that is. Uh, maybe it's supposed to be like that so we have more of an incentive to bring the Invictor tactical war suits as like the close quarters, like in your face, um, power ready. sort of style. And then the Redemptors are supposed to hold the midfield sort of thing. I'm thinking of that because of the Incendium Cannon that the Victor Tactical War Suits bring. Uh, and their scout move 8 inches, just to be like, yo, hey, here you go, try and take me out. Uh, and we'll see, we'll see. I might, I might to include one of those in my list going forward. Um, I'm, Balanced data slate really forced me to revise my, my lists uh, because I had one Redeemer and one Storm Raven in most of the renditions that I had for my competitive lists. Uh, as, and now I've just removed the Storm Raven altogether because uh, I don't think it's as durable as it should be for its new points value. Uh, but, uh, and it's yeah, the minus one damage is nice, uh, but it doesn't have smoke keyword, and uh, it uh, yeah. Right, like, let me look at it here. Yeah, so vehicle fly, aircraft transport, Imperium storm raven gunship. Uh, yeah, so no smoke. Minus one damage is nice. Um, you get the minus one to hit if you're flying, but I've never flown it. I always had it covered. And. Uh, what you're gonna do, you know, points change every now and again. It is 280 points, and that's just too much, too much, not uh, not enough durable enough at toughness 10. Um, so, to me, it's just a, a flying, and it's 3 plus save, only 2 plus save, so it's a, it's a, a, it's too weak at this point for the 280. Uh, it brings a lot of firepower. To the, the field with two hurricane bolters, now. my uh, twin multi melta, and uh, a tw um, oh my gosh, twin assault cannon. Ready. That was my loadout for it. And did a lot of damage, especially with the uh, firestorm right, attachment. It was nice. Uh, 280. Too many points. Too many points. So my list went up 45 points just for just for that, just for having one of each spamming. I try not to take more than two of the same thing, uh, just because I like having a diverse list and I want my opponent, my opponent to enjoy playing against me. I want to keep playing the game. I don't want to beat someone so bad that they stop. Uh, I've had my fair share of hobby nightmares and I'm pretty sure I've been the hobby nightmare at uh, one point or another. So I just can't help but want to try and mitigate that. Anyways, uh, I'll leave Ready that to there to be done. today, and uh, you guys, please feel free to watch the rest of my video. In the background, there should be the Hail Wars uh, match I had, uh, just to kill some time, and uh, put my mind on the shelf at the end of a very long day. Anyways, I hope uh, you enjoyed the, my thoughts, my commentary, and I hope I've inspired you to keep going with your hobby. I will expand your repertoire a little bit, and uh, please let me know your thoughts and uh, feelings below in the comments. Oh, easy. Yeah, Receiving yeah, fire from ground troops. Oh, great. Oh, great. Now we need another one. We've got some creeps over here. Jackrabbit, ready to let loose, sir. Firebase constructed.
structure destroyed. What you got for me, boss? Combat station upgrade complete. Find me some metal. Garage constructed. Tower constructed. Supply pad constructed. Our base is under attack. The enemy has destroyed one of our buildings. Taking out one of our buildings. Cyclops is under attack. Turret upgraded. Firebase constructed. Cyclops is under attack! Kodiak here, sir. Hands up. We got hostile. Barrage constructed. Marines ready to serve! We're moving out, squad! Kodiak systems all checked and ready. Up. Marines under attack. Headquarters upgrade complete. Our base is under attack. That's a confirmed One kill. Over. Systems checked and calibrated. Lock it down. If you can see it, I can shoot. Enemy structure destroyed. Eyes on me, Marines. Let's take it, Marines. Schmieder power ready. Making my approach. We've demolished an enemy structure. Cyclops under assault from enemy ground forces. 
Sol Systems Command Center upgrade complete. Enemy dispatched. Nightingale here. Need anything fixed? Our base is under attack. Nightingale coming through. Any chance for repairs before I head out? Ship's taking a beating, sir. In the air. I'm under attack from enemy vehicles. Constructed. Turret constructed. Leader power ready. Watchtower constructed. Constructed. Our base is under attack. Barracks constructed. Move out with me for combat. Wake up, troops. Hostile. You ready, Jarheads? Time to try out my new toy. Be there soon. Turret constructed. Had constructed. Our base is under attack. Red is a pancake. Stand to, troops. Barrage constructed. That's job satisfaction. Constructed. Enemy spotted. It won't help anyone if my ship explodes. Nightingale on route. Turret constructed. Command center upgrade complete. Let's see what this thing can do. Is anyone going to help me out? They ain't getting up from that. Warthog ready to rock. I An enemy player has been eliminated. Turret constructed. Our base is under attack. Supply pad constructed. In combat with an enemy vehicle. Keeping me busy. Watchtower constructed. Supply pad constructed. out one of our buildings. Rally point set. Leader power ready. Marines are ready to go. We're up, Leathernecks. I ain't giving anyone a piggyback. Let's go.
iPad upgrade complete. Calculating trajectories. Let's get you fixed up. Marines, sound off. Marines. It was too late to see that structure. Upgrade complete. Rally point set. is under attack. Structure destroyed. Supply pad upgrade complete. Supply pad upgrade complete. Marines reporting. Our base is under attack. Move out, Marines. Barracks constructed. She's ready to go, sir. Just give me an order, sir. Hostiles on the move. Marines. Enemy hero killed. killed. Air pack constructed. Marines, ready, ready to send serve. vehicles after me.
Stand to, troops. Get in and get comfy. We're up, Leathernecks. Restoring the point. Is under attack. What's my target, sir? Enemy spotted. Enemy structure destroyed. Constructed. Command center upgrade complete. Marines under attack from a scare. vehicles. As good as there. Sit back and let the drones do their work. That's one less hostile. Receiving fire. Turret constructed. Squad, boss. No one's left. Look alive, Marines. Let's get going. Can anyone get that scarab off my back? Turret constructed. Calculating trajectories. Marines under fire from enemy ground troops. Station upgrade complete. Long rods constructed. Can anyone get this scarab off my back? I'm receiving scarab fire. Any support? Leader power ready. He's captured our power node. Air pad constructed. Jackrabbit here. I have my eyes on enemy forces. One less hostile to bother us. Hornet ready. Power ready. Supply pad constructed. 
Our base is under attack. Hostiles approaching. Command center upgrade complete. Supply pad constructed. Keep them busy, boss. Watchtower constructed. Sound off, Marines! We've got our order, stand Let's to! Go, troops! Constructed. The final enemy base is under attack. Found an enemy structure on my patrol. Over. Structure denied. Leader power ready. Supply pad constructed. Constructed. Turret constructed. Nice gale here. Repairs. The final enemy base is under attack. Go easy next time. These things aren't free. Heads up, hostiles. Bumpers crunched and cannon loaded. Troops down. Over. Cyclops under fire from enemy ground troops. Some creator power ready. We've demolished an enemy structure. Enemy structure destroyed.
visual on the enemy. Hostile is out of the equation. Get this scarab! 